Hey, what's up? What's going on? Leonidas Guest there coming at you. In this video, we're going to be talking about product research for your Shopify store. We're going to be talking about how to re how I research products on, on the internet using sites like AliExpress, sites like Google. Hold on, let me pull up Google for you. Come on, my internet's like moving. Buku, slow down. Google.com. Um, I already had Google. Sites like Amazon.com. And also, uh, what's the other one I use? Um, uh, I use Wish.com sometimes as well as, what's the one for eBay? I'm trying to remember the one for eBay. I don't really use that one that much, that's why. Anyway, if I, if I remember it, I'll get back to it. But mainly, what I use Amazon, Wish, and also uh, Google, right? And other Shopify stores and Facebook as well to do research, right? So we're going to be talking about how to take advantage of the upcoming um, Christmas rush so you can actually be in position to win, right? There's been an exponential growth of people on Shopify over the last, like, 18 months or something. And it's cool, you know, a lot of people out there crushing it. I'm going to show you how to start with the basic stuff, how to actually get some products listed on there and make this super easy. So first thing you want to look at is your app. This app, uh, Oberlo. It's pretty cool. Oberlo, Oberlo, however you want to pronounce it. Tomato, tomato, potato, potato, whatever. Um, this app really gives you insights on your sales. You can do product research right from here. You can import the products right from inside this app, inside of your Shopify store. Like This seems like this would be a cool product to actually promote. So I would import that. I'm just going to add to my import list. Uh, and I'm just going to continue... I can search from for products right here. You know what I mean. You can find relatable items. You can find um, cool items that are hot selling right now. It gives you some cool suggestions. The fishing niche. This is a cool dress. Um, whatever this is, a baby girl's whatever. These shoes are pretty cool. Shoes are always hot for the holidays. Anything that's in the baby niche, and it, you know, uh, what I love about uh, this app also, it tells you the cost to get it shipped and how long it's going to take to get it shipped which is really dope. So you can, this is one way where you can actually import products right from the app um, and put it right into your uh, right into your store, right? Another, another way that you can do this, uh, and before we get to that, when you hit that add to import list, it's going to come right, it's going to bring you right here. You just go to import list and you're going to see all the products that you imported. You can do edit the, uh, the nomenclature of them, the description, the name, the variants you can set your prices and all that right here you can choose what images you wanted to upload which is pretty cool um, so this is one way to do it <laughs> you know you can just find random products if you wanted to do that and import the products another way you can go to the Aliexpress website there's a little uh, when you download uh, Oberlo onto your store there's gonna be a little Chrome extension right here you can just click on it and when you search for products so let's get let's say I'm looking for phone accessories right what I like to do on AliExpress, for instance, I like to find products that have a lot of orders. So I'm going to click on orders, and I want products that, that offer free shipping. Right? Boom. The uh, internet's kind of slow. Free shipping, good ratings. So now I'm going to see products that have massive amounts of orders. So, like this one. At 7,500 orders, I definitely want that product. This one, this silicone rubber case. These are all products that I can use for free plus shipping or add-ons. Um, aluminum alloy tempered glass, 4,200 sales, 45. These are all accessories, you know, relatable items that I can I can sell. Look, this one's pretty cool for the iPad. This one can probably sell for like 20 bucks. So I'll, I'll promote that. Um, this cool iPhone case. You know, so you can have an, uh, an entire iPhone. Uh, section an Apple section of your store selling Apple accessory products for iPhones and mainly like I said I'm looking for high order numbers I'm looking for anything that's really cheap where I can sell I can sell this for like 10 bucks free plus shipping or I can sell it for like 10.99 and offer free shipping with it you know what I mean or package a deal or something um, and just by hitting this this little tag it's going to import it import it into your store um, and that's pretty much all you really need to do. If something's like this, no e packet, I wouldn't really mess with it. You know what I mean? And I like the fact that it tells you right there what the cost of shipping is going to be. It tells you the final price out the door. 
so that's really cool. This one's pretty uh, 83 cents. So you want to definitely um, keep that in mind when you're looking for products. These are products that people are going to always have a need for and a want simply because you know they just they just keep coming out with more and more iPhones, and um, it's easy to market these things to people using um, Facebook. So we're going to talk about Facebook in an upcoming video. So that's one way that I do some product research. You know, I look for stuff that has high order amounts here on AliExpress. Um, I might do the same thing on Amazon. I type in Amazon uh, cell phone cases, <clears throat> and this is mainly just to get an idea for pricing, right? So let's go cell phone cases to see what the prices are out there right now. See thirteen, sixteen, seven ninety nine. 560, 569, 8.99. So you see what the competitive prices are, what you want to charge for cases on Amazon, because a lot of people shop on Amazon, especially if you're going to be marketing just strictly into the U.S. market. Uh, people are going to compare compare prices to Amazon, so you want to be able to have your prices as competitive as possible when you're doing so. Um, so just keep that in mind. If you're doing clothing, even let's see if this will let me log in on my Facebook. Mm -hmm. You can use Wish.com to do clothing and jewelry. It's pretty cool. Um, I, I've ordered quite a bit of stuff from Wish um, as far as clothing and jewelry is concerned. You know, they have a lot of cool stuff on here. And you can just look at what it what it's selling for on here. Like this diffuser, for instance, 7 bucks marked down from 100 This probably be a good sell right now. So this is a little more effort that would overload. So I'd have to go in. Or I can check and see if they have an app for Wish. That does some cool importing stuff. Let's type it in and see. Wish. Oh crap! They do have an app. Let's see. I don't think this is probably not. What, this is just a sales channel. This is not what I was thinking it was. So that's not really what I want to do. Um. All right. Let's go back over to Wish. So this is seven bucks. Oh wow, this might actually be a good sale. We could probably sell this for around thirty dollars, forty nine bucks maybe, half off, fifty percent off right now. Um, and this is gonna be a little more work simply because we're gonna have to um, snap all these photos ourselves, upload them onto the store, and uh, do all all the man do all this stuff manually. So it's gonna be a little more work when it comes to creating this product. So um, just. Just bear bear that in mind. But this is probably a good product to sell right now, simply because it's seven bucks, and it's marked down from a hundred. So we can probably make a good, nice little profit on this. This is pretty dope. Just gonna save this real quick. So this is like the manual labor work that you'd have to do. Um, Oops, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, get these images taken care of real quick and manually upload this product. Okay, just go to the product. Oh, there we go. This part it's a little pain in the butt. There you go. See what I'm saying? It's so annoying. It's the white, a little black.
just gonna grab all these images. Yes, this is the boring aspect of it. But it's worth it when you're finished when you start making the sales. To grab all these images off here because the more the customer sees, the more legit it, they, you know, they feel secure about making the purchase, and then it gives them more, uh, you know, it answers more of their questions. Because when they see it, seeing is believing, you know what I mean? So. Ideally, you want to provide to them as many as many photos as possible, videos as possible. That way, they can see the full experience and uh, make that buying decision. It'll happen a lot faster. All right, cool. So now that that's done, the related products, you can see what what else people are purchasing and what other products they have on here that we can probably sell. Look at this. This one's pretty cool, so I'll probably do that one next. Description. So I'm just go ahead and grab this description. <clears throat> products Bad products so we'll make this look decent here in a bit because as, as you see that came in really bumbo jumbo so we don't want it to look like that look a lot better than what it does and some of this information is not really relevant so we're gonna omit some of it and some of it might give you know give us an idea of this is a doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. This doesn't matter. Alright, so and then we just want to upload the images. Get the best one for the main image. And we want to sell it for forty nine point nine nine. Retail ninety nine dollars. And then you want to go huge sale. Whoops. I'm just going to go ahead and something generic, simple. And I'll just put free shipping available if you purchase in the next five minutes. And then I just want to. Oh, 
color so it stands out. Let's see, and that's basically it. It's a listing of fire from the store. And I want to go view, see what it looks like. Alright, cool, multi-barrel diffuser, blah blah blah. Alright. I should see the images populate here in a second. Um, something else you could do as well is manage the countdown timer for it. So we can legitimize the offer even more and create a sense of scarcity. So I'll just do this. Right, that's about ready. You know, I'm not going to add any shipping on it, so we don't have to worry about the better shipping app. Uh, we'll Countdown timer. Oops. Is it not active? Products. Charge, huh? Not active. Okay. All right, so this is going to be the countdown timer, timer right here. It's going to make it look legit. Default settings, hard still ends, custom text, holding out. Don't look at that. Uh, the of the All right, and then you want to go collect the activate timer, yes. Products, I have to worry about that. Save. And now we're going to go back over here to the product again. I'm just going to make sure that that's active. There we go. We're going to turn that on. We're going to say 2 hours and 3 minutes and 12 seconds. Just make up whatever number, doesn't matter. Oh, that's a customer, seven days now. And then we're just going to go save. Now we're going to go back to the page, refresh it, and we should see our timer on the page now. There we go. And there's our countdown timer. So that's going to create a sense of urgency. I'm going to, you know, spruce this up a little more. But that's basically product research, man. That's how I'd find a product right there. Something I found on Wish.com. So we're just going to, you know, go ahead and promote this product and see how the marketplace loves it. So thanks for watching. Hope this video made some sense. Hope it helped that answered any questions you have. Uh, let me know what, what point really helped you in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel like this. Give me a thumbs up, and I look forward to helping you, working with you in the future. My name is Leonidas Keys, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.